Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out camping in a private forest and I'm joined by my good friend Dan who's over there somewhere. Um, rain's about to come so I'm going to pop the tarp up, give myself somewhere to stay out of the rain. It looks pretty heavy what's coming towards us so I'm going to get on with that. Uh, tonight I'm not really sure what the order of service is going to be but I imagine it's going to involve a fire. Again we're on a private woodland and we have permission for that. Maybe a few beers, a bit of steak, something like that. Should be good fun. So please join me and uh, I hope you enjoy this camp as much as I will. I'm using the DD tarp. So this particular one is a three meter by three meter tarp and it's in the DD multicam. I find the DD stuff pretty good for the price point that it's at. So you'll see it in just a moment. Look, I've disappeared. It's like magic, isn't it? Now you see me. There you go. Right. So there we go. There's the shelter up. I'm quite lazy. Uh, I use bungees. I can't do knots. It's never really been my strong point. So, bungee each end. Uh, just a stick there, just to get the side panel up a little bit, so we can, uh, you know, get things under there. And what I've done is I've just brushed away all the leaf litter underneath the, um, the tarp there. We uh, we're in a chestnut wood or horse chestnut, so you get those sort of spiky little bits that are no good for air mattresses um, or your general general feet and things like that, not very nice. So I just clear them away and um, get myself a little space. So as it happens, I don't have an air mattress today. I've got the Helinox Cot 1 and I'll show you that later on. Uh, it's a bit of a Helinox feast today. I've got the Helinox sunset chair in the rather garish blue. The cot one, which is which is really good, it's a lot of money uh, and it's quite quite large, but it's really good. Um, foil mattress, foil like a uh, under blanket thing that I happen to have in the car that Dan over there he gifted me, and a few other bits and bobs. Can you say hello. Hello. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Sorry, I've got a real bead on. Oh my goodness me, it's hot. Um, I changed into some uh, some of these 511 trousers and uh, oh, they're lovely aren't they and uh, just to get the ticks away from my uh, my bare legs I was sporting some shorts earlier on and I was advised not to wear those so it's his fault how you been good so <sighs> hot now if only we had a cold beer that's all right, under there. Yeah, I was just. Uh, You've got your cot thing, haven't you? I have. I've got my cot. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like my uh, wonderful use of bungees? You could use them for hanging up tarps or holding the bottom of people's cars on. Oh, don't come too close. Two meters. Oh, we've got being shot. But there we go. So there you go. So um, yeah, we'll probably maybe sit and have a beer. Maybe. I think so. So. Uh, I'll bring you back after that. <laughs> don't. don't. Just, cool. Put your hand over the lens. Like that. Just go. Yeah, okay. No, don't. Cut that out now. Yeah, that's a nice a, big finger mark. Down. Uh. Let's get you up a little bit. Oh, good enough. Right, so I've got the, uh, the Helinox as mentioned. And. Um, these are cracking, they really are. Um, so you've got the two vertical poles, yeah, and you've got these cross braces, three of them, and then obviously the material of the, the bed. So I'll show you, it doesn't take long to put together. I rarely use this because it's just so bulky. Um, it, it's a bit of a pain and here in the UK at night it can get pretty cold outside of the summer and um, 
the wind whips under you. A bit like, imagine being in a hammock with no under blanket. So yeah, it can whip under you and it gets, can get you cold quite quickly, but we're in the summer here now. So despite the rain that's coming in, we should have quite a decent night. So there is a full demo of this um, on my channel. It's quite, an, I've had it for a long time, but it's, um, it's pretty cool. So just click them like that, you'll get the idea. Uh, pretty fast. There's uh, this side up and I always get it wrong. Uh, I think it's that way around here. I think this side up, so that side down. Who knows, we'll work it out as we go along. Oh, I've got a visitor behind me, Mr. Camp Luff Bushcraft giving me uh, lovely signals. I say I can never remember it. <clears throat> it says this side up, but I can't remember. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. It's that way around, I think. Yeah, that's it. So, I haven't used this for such a long time. It gets a bit, uh, but I was just saying to, uh, to my viewers, Dan, it's, uh, it's a great little bit of kit, but it's just a bit big for bringing along on a camp. I didn't see it in its pack, so. Um, that big. That's not too bad. It's not when you think you don't have to have a roll mat. Size. No roll mat. Yeah. So it's it's not too bad in the summer, but in the winter it, you get too cold. It's a bit like a um, hammock with no under blanket. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's, it's, I say it's pretty straightforward to put together, which it is. Once you get the knack of it, and you can see I've hardly used it. It's like new this one. I should sell it really. I've been going through a, a cull of my camping equipment, which has been great, um, being self-employed, there's been no money coming in and um, it's helped me not dip into my savings by selling kit that I just don't use anymore and clearing the garage at the same time. So then that just pops over the end, it's quite hard to do. There we go, there's one. It's quite hard, so it's quite hard to get it over the end. So yeah, just slide the two poles down the length of the material. These little cutout sections will become apparent shortly. And the reason I'm doing this now, I'm not sitting down having a drink with my friend, is because I want to get my bag and stuff on top of it and off floor because I think it's going to be raining if it's not already. Right, so there's your bed shape. Okay, let's put it around that way. And then these fellas, one goes like that, the other one on the other side. Just lever it down. You do need a fair bit of a fair bit of strength for that. People who have problems with their hands, arthritis or whatever, you, you're not gonna have a chance on these. In my opinion, they're quite they're quite tough to do. But otherwise, for your average schmo, they're pretty easy. Okay. Last one going in. Find a twig so you can have a blurry background. I can do that. With that. Do a bit more talking. Oh. And, uh, well, so. Hang on, I haven't pressed record yet. <laughs> Let's flip you open, my beauty. I'm recording, yes, indeed. Oh, I bought one of these today. My word, it's good. <laughs> Socially distant cheers. Ooh, mate. We did it, we did it, we're in the woods at last. Oh, oh to your good health. Mm. Nice. I heard from John, he'll be at least an hour. So, we've got to do all the hard work. He's learning from me, that boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's normally me that rocks up mega late and everything's done, the food's on. 
I'll just crack open a beer and sit down. Still. This is, this is our fireside area. Yeah. John's going to be sort of about half a mile that way, I think. Yeah. He tends to snore a bit. I'm going to dig a pit for the fire. Yeah. It's been raining, but it's still quite dry. So I'm going to dig a pit and mound it up with earth all around so the fire's sort of mm. oh, I love it. sunk I love down. That. Yeah. And if there's a problem, we can just kick the dirt over to put it out. I don't think it'd be a problem. Yeah. We're very responsible wild campers. Well, we haven't burned anything down yet, have we? Yeah. There are a few bugs around there. Yeah. We had to, uh, I did bug spray in the car, but I uh, haven't got a bug net. Neither have I. I'm beginning to regret that a little bit now. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a bit itchy just thinking I about know. it. I can see them around me. I've got one of those nets that you put over your head. Don't leave me alone. Collar. And uh, I might oh be wearing no, that later. Oh, I okay. think once we get the we light fire, be a long night, I reckon. Some uh, damp wood on the fire, we'll get loads of smoke going. Yeah. It's a bit like they'll all go over that way into that nice, uh, nice looking labu. It's not a labu. Oh. It's just a teepee. Whatever. It looks like a labu to me. It's a, so it's uh, not even a proper labu. It's a hot tent. Oh, that's your one it's tigress or however it's the Tigress, tigress? I'm not sure. Yeah. Tigress, I'd say. Oh, it's actually, right. I don't say tigress. Correct him. Correct him in the comments section below. Abuse him. Abuse, abuse him in the abuse. comments. Camp Life Bushcraft. Go over there and give him a bit of shit. Yeah. Oh, this is very nice. Very nice. Oh, this is what I got a chair. You just go. Oh. Yeah, I'm right. I was going to bring fun. a chair, but I was trying to go back to not carrying excessive gear. I know it's a long hike getting in here. I've kept it simple. Well, I just, but I just it, was, it was worth it. I just want to practice not carrying too much. I've got myself a new backpack, which is the um, Osprey Rook. I think it's 60 litres, might be 65. Yeah, and I didn't fill it on purpose because I, think I find the bigger the bag, the more crap you carry. Mm. So I've left things like the grill at home and stuff because I don't need it. I've left my silver mat mm. thing. It's just the stuff that I carry. These are all the things that I have in my bag. <laughs> just carry it and it's unnecessary. No, it is. I mean, it's different, isn't it? If you're going out hiking, like you guys will have seen on our videos, where we go hiking over Dartmoor or up the, up the Welsh mountains. Little hills, really, weren't they? Yeah. <sighs> it's a mountain to me. But, you know, you're not going to carry grills and chairs and beds and stuff. But, you know, when you're sort of a couple of hours hiking through woodland, not You're a big, big strong man like you, Rob. It's all there, all the powers in the belly. Yeah, so it's just different kit for different different times, isn't it? Yeah. I love that backpack though. Are they great? I've only ever had cheap backpacks. It's the first one I bought that's cost me any money. It makes you realise where the money goes. So comfortable. <sighs> I was gonna do a what I'd put in it and a look at it, but I couldn't be bothered. I'm gonna do it next week. Oh, how it is, isn't it? We shall retire to our respective shelters, maybe. It's not coming through here, really. Uh, it's only going to be showers, and it will stop hopefully by six when we need to have a fire and stuff. Fingers crossed. We'll see. I was going to, if I can find the materials, make a tripod over the fire with uh, space at the top and pack in some bracken or debris or something just yeah, so that it's got a little it. umbrella yeah because I'm getting nibbled I think I'm going to put my it's camera under shelter it's raining it is <laughs> well I've retired to the shelter it's um it's raining let's bring the camera in under the shelter as well oh man my wife said to me when when, uh, when I left the house she said oh it's going to rain today I said no 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 it's a 20% chance It'll be fine, she went. When you're meeting up with Dan and John, it always rains. And uh, yeah, well done. You were right, as always. So uh, never mind. I've got the uh, the DD up, as you can see. Haven't sort of unpacked anything. It's all it's all out, but it's dry under here, so it's not a problem. We will uh, 
we will manage. Oh, and um, I'm using a new camera today, so uh, your feedback, please. It is it is new, literally. I'm out of the box today and uh, and out with it, charged it and out. So I'm learning the controls. It'd be interesting to see. I think the um, the shakiness of it will be worse than the GoPro, but the picture quality hopefully hopefully should be better. You'll be able to see me in all my glory. Um, but there you go. So let's have a look at Dan's setup. There he is, chatting away to his camera. He's got his, uh, oh, is it a one tigress or one tigress hot tent. So no stove today, but he's uh, he's bought along tent. I think it, he said it's a three man tent and it looks very smart. So there you go. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm in my tent. So I've been a bit of a burk. I've forgotten a torch, which is incredible as I have more O-Lite torches than you can absolutely imagine. It may be in the car, but I have a feeling it's, uh, it's, it's been left at home. I have to put things up. I have a puppy at home and, and she eats things on the floor. So I think it's still hanging on the back of the chair at home, which is, which is a bit of annoying, but it'll be a good test for this camera to see how it handles the low light. Um, looking at the screen, um, it looks a lot brighter than it actually is in reality, so um, we'll see how it comes out in the edit. But um, yeah, it's, quite, it's getting cold now as well, and I, and I have been a bit of a plum and, and, and not got a, um, a fleece or anything. I thought it was going to be a bit warmer than it is. But anyway, that's life. Get my beer jacket on and just man up, I suppose. Right, well, I'm going to have a little tidy away, get things out while it's raining, make use of the time. And you can have a look at my setup once I've completed that. Bit of admin. Well, I lucked out. So in the bag, um, I've hastily packed uh, this morning uh, in between, uh, you know, various household chores. I, I chucked in this sort of lightweight down jacket and I bought this in Costco for about 20 quid, I think, about five years ago. And, it, and it's been fabulous. But you can hear the weather, it's just coming down on us now. But you know what? I'm on the, uh, the cot one. I've got Dan's, uh, he donated me this silver thing because uh, he, he unfortunately lost my old one. Not his fault. <laughs> it flew away from the back of uh, his bag. I think he was carrying it. So, I don't know why he was carrying it. He, he was helping me, I think, and it just disappeared off the bag uh, when we were last in Dartmoor, never to be seen again. And. Um, yeah, they really make a difference, these, these foil liners, you know, that just reflects the heat up. So that's great, I'm toasty warm, I'm dry. My unusually shaped tarp is pulling a tiny bit, but that's sorted there. And we're just waiting for the last of the three musketeers to arrive, and then the, the trio is complete. John should be here soon. So yeah, I'm, I personally don't like to get my sleeping bag and pillow and stuff ready just yet. Uh, when I'm sleeping in an open shelter where there's insects and ticks and bugs, um, I just, you know, I'd rather keep it next to me here in its bag and then later on open that up before bed, just to avoid any nasties crawling in. The smell of the rain and the vegetation is just wonderful. And it's actually quite nice just to sit and do nothing. I'm rather enjoying it. I've got a lovely view. There's my view. I'm just looking out onto the vegetation and the forest. Just chilling out. It's a good place to be. Probably should have got together some firewood and kept it dry, but you know, it's, uh, it's fine. We'll manage. We'll manage.
Yes. MC Bushcraft is in the house. Oh no. MCQ, you get it right, Rob. Whatever. Down, yeah. Same thing, innit? You can read that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, talk me through this bag then that you've spent okay. months making. So this is the Swedish LK35. It won't be new to any of you, it's just new to Rob because <laughs> he doesn't know what he's on about. Correct. And uh, so I bought this from Military Mart. Bought some side pouches uh, and sewed them on. That job takes forever. So pay someone else to do it. Um, it's got an external metal frame, which means that you can just carry loads and loads of weight on it. Very nice. Stitching looks good. Yeah, I've tried to hide it as much as possible. You've done a good I was job. I'm quite impressed with, with how I did, but it was, um, it did take me all of lockdown. Yeah. All the first three weeks of it at least. It looks very nice, mate. Thank you. And this is its uh, first outing. It is, yeah. Very good. For obvious reasons. Indeed. And uh, like that. That's it. That is so cool. Very smart. Very nice. We'll let you set up in the rain. Thanks. <laughs> Who is the rain? Who is the rain? The rain. How's she getting there? <laughs> Hello. Hi. And welcome. You're welcome. See, Hello. Have you done that yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, More than one. But you did that at home, didn't you? And set off. You've got a video of, I'm going out, these are the things that I'm taking. <laughs> oh, I nearly did. <laughs> got oh dear. So, Jono's uh, arrived and the, uh, the three musketeers are back. So we're going uh, to have a little chin wag and um, I guess we'll probably start looking at collecting some firewood before it gets too wet and start some dinner. Mm. Got some steak tonight, looking forward to that. So I'll show you some of my dinner later on. There's Mr. Muddy Paul's set up over there. I think he's uh, on the ground, I'm not sure. I think it's probably just a self-inflating mattress. Yes, definitely, I can hear it's his X-Ped. Should we go and have a closer look? I can hear some vigorous thumping. Well, hello there. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome to my comfy abode. Yes, I see you've got the X-Ped. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't bring mine today. No. No, I've got the. Uh... I mean, lighter weight. <laughs> Not quite. Heavier weight. Yeah, I've oh, got a big Lord. bed. What are you gonna learn? Definitely get a schnozzle. They're really good. Is that the roll-up bag thing? Mm. Oh, you've got a little separate hand pump. So mine's got like one built in where it says X pad on yours. It's there. Yeah. What, si what size is yours? This is a down mat, isn't it? It's a down mat. I think it's the nine, the long, wide one. Oh, this is the 5LW. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. I'm really pleased with them. I'd I just, if, if, if they sold one that was the same width as the climate, I'd sell all of the mats I've got and buy that again and just get rid of the expert I've just bought because yeah. it's just not quite wide enough for your arms, I find. I like my arms out of the bag. So. But no, it's really cool. I'll leave you to your pumping. Yeah, this is the boring bit, isn't it? Yeah. No, packing away is worse. I'm loving that bag, it looks really cool. Let's just show you the bag again in all its glory. Hmm. I'm liking these little uh, attachments here to cinch down the side pockets. So you, you sewed them on or did you get your lovely lady to do No, it? I did it. It's pretty good, hand. mate. It's pretty good, it must take taken ages. With a stitching all and a big thick sail needle. That must be hard, hard grafts. Big thick wax thread. So they're not coming off. And you can even, I left the top open so you can slide stuff behind it. Ah, uh, okay, that's a good but idea. But I did yeah. sew around the bottom so it won't fall out. Underneath. Yeah, I noticed that, yeah. Uh, very good, mate, very good. So let's see what uh, my friend Dan is doing. He's doing the hard graft.
Bushcraft does it take to light a fire? <laughs> Four. One to light it and three to film it. <laughs> we'll get all the shots that that's how it's done. Oh well, you cross the line. So the guys who've uh, gone to set up their trail cams, uh, there's a lot of I think it's badger sets, badgers and rabbit holes and all sorts of things. They've gone to try and catch some of the wildlife, set up these trail cams and they're t motion activated or something. So throughout the night, anything that sort of wanders in and out will get caught on, a, on, a, on an image. Maybe even a bit of video, I'm not too sure. Hopefully if one of the guys sends uh, a little bit over to me, if they get anything I can splice it in for you but they've very foolishly left me in charge of the fire and, uh, I'm doing all right I think I'm doing all right it's uh, going well but my goodness me it's 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 certainly raining hard but, uh, processing wood it gets you hot a few times doesn't it fetching it cutting it and then of course burning it And then you've got to clear up as well. That warms you up in the morning. We uh, we definitely like to leave no trace. We're we're leave no trace kind of people. It's not right to even a, in a forest like this where we've got permission to be here. It's not right to uh, to leave a fire scar or any mess or anything. It's uh, it's almost amusing because every time I get get you out, the camera out, it, the rain starts coming down even more. And we've got a bit of a canopy going on here. Let's, let's show you the the tree canopy. It's a, it's a fair old canopy, but it's uh, it's getting me wet. It's getting my camera wet. So away you go until it stops. Okay, so we're having a good time. Um, we've got some steak two there. Us. Two of us are. Yeah, <laughs> thanks guys. Bit of steak. Um, got some water boiling for the veg. I've got my steak grill. These guys are being brave. I think you just throw it on the coals, is that yeah. right? Oh, an oven. <laughs> oh, I've got a comedian over there. Cut the comedian. Uh, and a bit of this. Perfect mash. We'll see whether it's perfect. And some veggies. A couple of veggies as well. 
Yummy veggie. All good. So, let's get cooking and see where we end up. Look at that. Looking good, eh? Looking good. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Get you a, a head. There you go. It's all come out of boiling water, so. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Absolutely, we're going to film you doing your. Uh, doing your yoga. So Dan does Dan. yoga Dan before, before. Before. <laughs> Before <laughs> going to bed every night, and apparently this is the what was it the backdoor dog? <laughs> I've got backache. Yeah. Because I didn't bring a chair. <sighs> <laughs> you know what? I want to sit on yours, but it's infected. <laughs> oh, it's very as you can imagine, my heart bleeds as I lean back into my last chair. <sighs> trousers in my sleeping bag do me got the all-important uh, <laughs> earplugs John snores quite a lot quite loudly I hear him through the, uh, the, the normally the uh, earplugs I've got um, got a pillow I've got quite a few pillows actually this is the climate deluxe something or other let's see if I can get the name Climate Lux Pillow, there you go. Climate Lux Pillow. That's, uh, that's pretty good. The guy's got me one from Decathlon, which is also very good. So I sort of swap and change depending on uh, what pack space I've got. So, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to sleep, actually. A little bit of a tilt here. So sort of rolling that way a little bit, but nothing that should really be a problem. So um, I think I'm going to call it there for tonight. I've got a nice breakfast in the morning. Might do that on the bush box stove, fast, fast stove. I can't remember what it's called. Too many beers. But um, yeah, here's to a peaceful night. So if nothing exciting happens in the evening, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good, very comfy. 
Rained on and off. It's raining now, it's you know, just, just what's left of the rain coming through the canopy.
Right, so it's the, the worst time of a camp, it's pack away time, and um, it's underway, it's underway. Uh, my friend over there, John, he's, uh, he's nearly there, but um, Dan is somewhat behind, <laughs> as I am. But we've got the campfire to clear up, uh, a few odds and sods. It's definitely a lead no trace place, uh, although we do have permission to be here. To continue to get permission, it's important to leave it as you found it, if not in a better condition. So. You know, pick up all your beer cans and tea bags and whatever other rubbish you're slinging around when you're enjoying yourself. Just pick it all up and tidy it away. So that's what we're doing now. Squaring away the kit. We've got a bit of um, got a bit of rain coming in, in the next few hours, and we, we've all agreed we kind of want to be away, at least packed away before that comes. Save drying out kit when we get home. So yeah, breakfast was good. <laughs> Ate too much. It was nice, it was good on the bush box, enjoyed that. So thank you as always for joining me, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd be so kind as to leave a like, that would be much appreciated. Until the next time, take care.